morning everyone. Now today we are going to be calculating the number of days between two dates, from one date to another. So let's take a look how we do this. Okay, so first of all our first example here says from the 6th of January to the 26th of February. Now we start by circling that first date. From the 6th of January, let's go to the 6th of January and we circle that. And then to the 26th of February, we're going to circle that date next. There we go. All right, now we want to work out how many days between those two dates there, from the one to the other. So, for example, our number one that we're busy with. Um, so let us first of all count how many days are left over in this first week. That we, we, we've circled. Where we've circled the six, we do not then count that circle's date. The first date we don't count, all right? So, one, two, three, four days left over in that week. Okay, and then let's count how many full weeks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six full weeks. So we know that it's six times seven because there are seven days in one week. And then we are going to plus the last few days left. And this time we do count the 26th. The last date you do count. Because it's from that date to this date. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days in that last week. Let's put it down like that. Okay, so now all that remains is for us to work out this number sentence. Alright, let's work out the brackets first. Remember, so 7 times 6, 6 times 7, is we know, is 42 there. So let's say... 42 plus 5 plus 4. Okay, so 42 plus 5 is 47, plus 4 is then 51. And so there, that is the first one done. That was very easy, wasn't it? All right, now let's do the second example in the same way as we did the first example. Let's have a look at number 2 now. 4th of March to the 22nd of April. From the 4th of March to the 22nd of April. Here we go. All right, now let us, as we did last time, let us count how many days. Remember, we do not count the circle day, the first circle day. There are one, two, three days left of that first week there. So we say three days that we have to add in, plus how many full weeks? Let's count. One, two, three full weeks so far. And then there are one, two, three days left here. So let's just add those odd days there. And then go to the next month of April. One, two, three, four days left of that week. Let's add on four days. And then let's see how many full weeks again. One, two full weeks. So it's two times seven. And then how many days over? One, two, three, four days left over. And you do count that last one, remember? I'm going to put it over there. And now we can just work this out, our number sentence. Brackets we will do first, 3 times 7 is 21, 2 times 7 is 14, now we just need to do a little sum here. So let's add up all these little, all these odd numbers here, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 4 is 14, so let's write down 14 plus 21 plus this 14 here, so we've got 14 plus 14 is 28, and then we're going to add on 21 uh, here. So we've got then 49. Um, 8 plus 1 is 9 units. 2 plus 2 is then 4. So then 49 days. Okay. Right. Now, I hope that you are going to have fun doing your um, activities today on calculating the number of days from one date to another.